while everybody was bearish on cryptocurrency i told you guys that you are to expect a healthy correction whether it's a correction or some main trend we are going to discuss that not only that but in today's video we are going to discuss time target and price target both of them for bitcoin and ethereum uh, now in in my previous analysis which i told you guys that you were to expect bullish price behavior and i also give provided a warning and i was provided a trading setup the warning was it, a lot of people uh, were bearish right over here and were bearish right over here and were bearish right over here all of those people which were strongly bearish would over here and will now turn strongly bullish around this per, per, this area probably so keep in mind that we are still in the bearish market uh, as we discussed previously that the uh, cryptocurrency tends to form uh, long-term trends along with the stock market especially the US stock market that includes Nasdaq S&P 500 and Dow Jones as well so for long-term analysis let's have a look at our daily chart right over here too so this is the long-term analysis that I have given you guys that we're expecting this as an A B and C and whether that is going to be one major important bottom occurring at the end of C we are have yet not seen C so what's going on right now we are told you guys that couple of patterns are possible with A with B or with C in both cases or we can see completely say that wave 3 ended over here and wave 4 is going to end over here I know a lot of technicalities of what I'm talking right now in simple language or what I'm trying to sell, say is that this movement is simply a corrective movement a lot of people are going to get carried on when it reaches its top and a lot of people are going to get trapped into the bull trap reason because there's a lot of a lot of cash available in the stock market right now a lot of people are sitting on the side of the stock market and all of these people are going to get trapped now majority of them this would happen in waves all right so the and the reason is being simple most and the most basic failure occurs at the analysis level so I would repeat again the most basic failure occurs at the analysis level reason because analysis is not everybody's job it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of focus uh, to provide the analysis first to learn how to do the analysis it's not simply putting a uh, labeling or it's not simply drawing the trend line then you expect the price to just turn around if you, just because you put a trend line there so let's have a look what we are going through right now first of all Bitcoin here right now uh, let me give you guys a time target so the time target is that we expected to see a top occurring of this rally that we are seeing from in between August 1 and August 4 all right and the potential target which is 33,200 ish is the target for uh, in for Bitcoin I would say 33,200 all right so this is going to be the and this is horizontal uh, line explains the target area for cryptocurrency uh, for Bitcoin especially as soon as prices reach right over here be really really careful because we are to see long mm, anywhere from a month to two months time frame move downward so this is going to be a lot of people are going to get caught so if you make some money while going up keep it on side and wait for the bottom to occur which would not have occur in another month and a half so all right another from 30 days to 60 days we we'll look at it after we have seen the top uh, the uh, the timing for cryptocurrency is a little offset from what we are seeing in uh, in Nasdaq in Dow Jones in S&P 500 although the most of the trend goes along but the timing of the bottoms is a little off and timing for peak is a little off in cryptocurrency as compared to those stock markets so I wanted to present this now you're wondering what is uh, so if you are a politician you can pay attention we are considering this as an A a B and a C within C we have completed wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 is about to be completed now wave 3 can easily be labeled right over here that this is wave 3 and this is wave A and this is wave B and this price when goes up in the year would be completing wave 4 so that will be wave C and A, B and C and expanded flat giving an indication that further bearish price movement is to be expected downward and that is the case in most cases I am thinking more of going like wave A, wave B and wave C right over here and then we are to expect prices coming down for about a couple of months 
so this is what I wanted to present you guys even though I already shared this analysis but I did not share the time target and the um, the price target now if prices reach in this region and all of a sudden we have seen a sharper reversal on a daily time frame said that we have a bearish strong bearish day in that case that will be indicating within that date that we have reached our peak uh, for the curve this price that actually started all the way right from over here let's have a look at ethereum ethereum is a little more strong as compared to what we are seeing right now let's have a look at bitcoin first of all now bitcoin uh, the, the bitcoin is a not as strong as we are seeing in uh, in ethereum and give me a moment i'll give you yeah so with bit with the ethereum we are expecting a deeper price action and the date is expected to be the same august in between august 1 and august 4 a lot of people are saying no it cannot reach no we are moving in a wave 1 2 3 4 and 5 uh, for an expanded flat so this is wave uh, a this is wave b and wave c is v extended right over here if you do not like it you can definitely consider it as a w x y x and z i think in uh, ethereum as far as concerned it's it's more likely that we can actually consider this as w x y x and z this is much better as computer calling it as an a b and c because it it's going way deeper as compared to wave a so with the uh, with bitcoin we can definitely call it as an abc but with the uh, with Ethereum, we need to call it as a W, X, Y, X, and Z. Let's have a look on a daily. And once again, potential target is around 2,970-ish for um, for Ethereum. Let's have a look at hourly time frame. So if you guys have any questions, we can answer that. Now, this forecast was made uh, the day before yesterday. I told you guys that I was bullish on cryptocurrency. We were to expect prices. I know, I know that uh, in... Uh, it's not really easy to go and uh, when I see that there is a change in the there's a change in the pattern then I come and give you guys an analysis I just cannot sit on tight and say no no that I was right or I was wrong so as soon as uh, there is a change in the in the pattern and that's what exactly we have seen in the in cryptocurrency right over here too so we have seen nice rally I myself have a position long position going on in one of the coins I only invested in one of the coins and I'm expecting for the top to, to be made one thing once again goes right over here which goes for bitcoin is that this price movement is going to trap once it reaches its top is going to trap a lot of people a lot of people and when prices go downward is going to be very very painful very painful there is a possibility in ethereum there is a possibility that this could be a temporary bottom this could be a temporary bottom we will see price coming downward but whether that would be creating a new bottom that's an important question because ethereum is going way deeper as compared to bitcoin in bitcoin we can definitely see here bitcoin we can definitely see that the price movement is going up but is not as deep as what we are expecting to see in ethereum and therefore uh, bitcoin is expected to create another uh, another new bottom is expected to be created in bitcoin but ethereum itself we can see that ethereum has recently shown a lot of strength would that mean that ethereum is going to and come down would not be creating a new bottom uh, for that we'll have to look into the way future but for now i wanted to provide the, the potential time target and price target if time target reaches in that case and price target is not reached in that case i would exit my position because time is the most important factor as far as timing is uh, as far as prices is concerned uh, for cryptocurrency there are some new patterns uh, that are coming up which i have not seen in any other data and you can, guys can definitely see there's a huge volatility that we have seen in in cryptocurrency as a whole is, is a completely different asset class and the way it's behaving is completely different as well and that's also proven from mathematical models that i follow so uh, that in keeping that in mind I uh, wish you good luck with your trading for the next uh, couple, few days and enjoy the next uh, bullish price movement in Bitcoin, Ethereum and some other altcoins. Now beware that there are a lot of coins that are very dirt cheap. They are third class Ponzi scheme 
be really aware of them one of them I bought and then I sold I had actually uh, some loss from it and that was uh, GST yeah the app that is step in they have the whole app itself the idea is just worthless is they are keep on uh, milking the investors so be really stay away from the very dirt cheap um, very dirt cheap currencies there is a method that I'm trying to find uh, to find the amazing deals so we'll, we'll discuss that later in the future wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye